Welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Dads. I'm Joey. We are a vegan, mostly whole food cooking channel. We do some product reviews. Sometimes there's some episodes with Tim. If you like what you hear so far, please hit that like button, show us some love. And please think about subscribing and becoming part of the Plant Based Dads family. I want to give a big shout out to our uh, patrons and PayPal supporters for helping support the show. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, uh, we have accounts set up on PayPal and Patreon where you can uh, do financial support. Uh, on Patreon, it's uh, once a month, and on PayPal, it's a one-time charge. And that helps us get the plant-based message uh, you know, out to the public uh, by these videos. If you've ever seen the videos or ever, if you're in the Facebook group or ever, and ever thought, how can I help? How can I be part of this? That's how you can help. You can become a, a patron or you become a PayPal supporter. Uh, there's a link to both of those uh, companies in the description below the video. We could absolutely use your help. And uh, one of the benefits is that uh, PayPal and Patreon supporters get the videos, usually Friday night or Saturday morning, sent out to them before they go out on, uh, to public on Monday. So you get them a day or two ahead of time, which is kind of nice. So today, April 25th, we are starting the April Mary's Mini Challenge. Most of this takes place on uh, Instagram or in the Facebook group. Here's a picture of the Facebook group right above, and I'll put a link to the Facebook group uh, in the description below this video. The Mary's Mini Challenge this month is gonna go for seven days, uh, Monday the 25th of April through May 1st on Sunday. And uh, it's basically a very like simplified version of the starch solution. You're picking one starch, uh, sweet potatoes or regular potatoes, one of those, uh, corn, peas, oats, rice, and you're mixing it with, uh, you're doing a 50-50 plate, and you're mixing it with a non-starch, uh, you know, broccoli or Brussels sprouts or something like that, and uh, you're doing that without any, like, extra, you know, sauces on it or, you know, plant milk or any of that stuff. You're trying to just make simple starch and simple non-starch on a plate, and you do that three or four or five times a day whenever you're hungry. And the idea is that, you know, you make food a lot simpler. And then because you're making it simpler, you're not eating as much of it because it's just simple starches and non-starches. And because you're not eating as much of it because it's boring, you're eating less calories. And when you eat less calories, you, you know, take in less calories, right? So if you're looking for weight loss and that's something you're interested, I do have a video right here that explains how to do the Mary's Mini with the recent changes. So click on that and it tells you all about it. But because it's the first day of the April Mary's Mini, uh, I have an amazing one bot 50-50 potato and squash bake recipe. We've been making this for a while and every time I bring this to work, the people around me are like, oh, what did you bring? And they see the colors, like I've got all like three different colors of peppers in there and I've got, you know, the, the green squash and the yellow squash and I've got the potatoes and they're like, oh, look at all those colors, what is that? And I'm like, oh, this is my, you know, potato squash bake. And they're like, wow, that smells amazing, that looks good. I'm like, it is. How's your uh, lean cuisine over there? They're like, oh, it's good, okay, okay. So uh, people always comment on, on this dish whenever I bring it. Uh, so, I mean, that always makes me feel good. Plus, I'm eating something that's all whole foods, right? All whole food plant-based, uh, which, you know, reminds me that, you know, this is a great way to eat. So, I absolutely love this dish. I love the way it comes together. It is truly a one-pot meal. When you see me make it in the video, I actually put all the ingredients in a bowl because there's breadcrumbs involved, and I put the cover on the bowl and shake up the bowl so I can get every little you know, piece of vegetable coated, but there's no need for that. Just make it right when you cut your vegetables up, throw them right into the 13 by nine uh, uh, baking pan, right? And just throw your ingredients right at top and mix it up there with a, a, a wooden spoon or whatever and throw it in the oven. It really is meant to be a one pot dish, but because of my OCD and I want every single little piece of uh, vegetable coated, I put it in a bowl first, and you can use a Ziploc bag or something, but I don't like using Ziploc bags if I don't have to. But just keep in mind, when you see me making this, it is a one-pot meal. All right, I put a lot of time into this. I really try to make it look nice for you. I know you're gonna love it. Let's get to the food. It's time to get to work. The first thing I'm gonna do is pull out my Dahlstrom Gladiator Series Mini Santuco knife. I absolutely love this knife. It's very sharp. It's got beautiful rivets in the handle, and it is a workhorse. There's a link in the description below this video where you can get your very own Dahlstrom knives. I'm gonna start by cutting the squash in half the long way. 
Then I'm gonna cut it in half again to make quarters. After that, I'm just gonna cut these quarters into bite-sized pieces. I don't wanna make them too small. I wanna have some bite to them. Next, I'm gonna grab some potatoes. I'm using different sized potatoes, but you want about four large russet potatoes. I'm gonna start by cutting them in half. Oh, I got a little dark spot there. And then I'm gonna cut the halves in half. And if you see any uh, dark spots in there that aren't good, then just use your knife to cut them out. I try and save as much of the potato as I can when I do this. And I'm just cutting the halves in half, and really that's it. If the halves seem too big for bite size, then I will cut them one more time. And then I'm just gonna keep on going until I've got all the potatoes cut. Now I've got a very large mixing bowl, and I do have a cover for this bowl. I'm gonna dump my squash right in this bowl, and I'm gonna dump in my potatoes too. And while I was at it, I also cut up a yellow, an orange, and a red pepper. You only need one pepper for this recipe, but we had three of them we needed to use up, so we tossed them all in. Again, bite-sized pieces. Then I put in a whole large onion. Again, bite-sized pieces. And then I'm putting in about four garlic cloves, all diced up. Now I'm adding one cup of breadcrumbs. Here I'm using the Trader Joe's panko breadcrumbs. They are oil-free. Next, a tablespoon of red pepper, a tablespoon of paprika, and a teaspoon of salt. And after that, I'm adding one cup of nutritional yeast. Now I've got to get this all mixed up. It's right at the top of the bowl. So I'm just kind of, I'm going to put the cover on and shake it up, but I want to kind of get it mixed up a little bit. So some of that breading and all that gets down to the bottom of the bowl before I start shaking it. There's not going to be a lot of room to shake. I'm going to do a little rolling actually. And here I am just putting the cover on and I want to make sure it's on there secure. And I'm going to kind of just shake it up a little bit and then roll it to get this moving because there's not a lot of space in here. And as I roll it, it will start moving around and I will be able to get all of the breading and all the coating throughout this whole thing. You can see here when I take the cover off, everything is nicely coated. You can do this in a Ziploc bag too, but I prefer not to use a Ziploc bag and just use the, the glass bowl with the plastic lid. Now I've got a 13 by nine uh, cast iron pan. I'm just gonna dump this in. You really could just make this all in one pot. You don't need the bowl, right? You can just take the cut vegetables, throw them in the pot, throw the topics in and stir it up with a spoon. Like that's kind of really how you need to make this. I, you know, with my OCD, have to get every little piece of this coated. So that's why I have the bowl. But this truly is a one pot meal. You make it in the pot, you cook it in the pot. Next, Tim's sprinkling some fresh ground pepper on top because both of us really love pepper. And then we're wiping up around where the camera's filming because we don't want anybody to see how messy we are. Now it's time to go into a preheated oven of 400 degrees. We're gonna cook it for 30 minutes, then mix it all up, and then cook it for another 30 minutes. We're gonna make sure it doesn't burn. And now you can see after about an hour of cooking, it is nicely charred in the top, but it's not burned but it absolutely looks beautiful and cooked. See all those colors in there? Look how amazing that looks. This is gonna be really fun to have for lunches during the week. Now I'm just putting some of this in a nice white bowl here, and I'm trying to get it all in there for a nice picture. And then I'm just wiping the bowl because it got a little messy when I was putting it in here. And there you have it, folks, an absolutely beautiful serving of my potato and squash bake. You will absolutely love the vegetables in it. This is a one pot meal. It's a 50-50 plate in every spoonful. And what a perfect way to start off the Mary's Mini. So what do you think? Is this something you wanna make at home? Are you doing the Mary's Mini? It's a perfect opportunity to give it a try. All right, folks, that's our video for today. Please hit that like button, show us some love. We got an amazing Mary's Mini dish here. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on the subscribe button, click that bell, and you'll get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Monday. And please leave a comment below. What do you think about this dish? You think you might wanna make it? If you do, leave a comment and let me know what you thought of it. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>